Ah, so you're interested in my plan for the most serene republic of Venice. Well, let's get in there and have a look. Venice being sort of sat where it is, it's more isolated from the Kingdom of Italy itself and the Holy Roman Empire, so I don't think we would be looking for inclusion into the HRE as Venice. Now, let's see, independent realms. We can form a duchy straight away, which wouldn't be a bad idea because then we could maybe try and have some other counties underneath us and we don't have to run the risk of losing them. Because we are at the minute just a, well, what would be on the county level? I don't believe there's a Kingdom of Venice anymore, if I had, remember from looking in the Guillaume video. But let's have a look. V E N I. No, it looks like they've taken out the Kingdom of Venice. Which I'm... I'm not annoyed about, but I, I actually did think that we could maybe have a... With Venice, a kingdom-sized republic. But I guess there's always a possibility of doing that by conquering a kingdom, but I don't know if you can do that. Um, I guess if I create the title I could, but you can't hold feudal titles and... You know, republic titles, so that wouldn't be a possible. Now with Venice, I was going to think I was thinking mainly focus on trade, and well, the Venetians did a lot of trading with the Ottomans later on, after the Byzantium Empire fell. But I think we need to get our feet in our feet in early in the Byzantium Empire. So I was probably thinking of doing is having trade posts, sort of uh, Constantinople, maybe even try for Rome, Alexandria, the, the, the main like trade places along the Mediterranean, have trade ports spread out across the entire eastern Mediterranean, then maybe try and push eastward once we have the west sewn up and it's all under Venetian control. And we still have the option of declaring war on the infidels, which, now can you stay out here? i like to be able to see that. Which at the start of the game could even mean coming up here. Now I know Guillaume, um actually had territory up here at one point, but I'd be thinking more of including it in my Venetian campaign because, well, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's in what I would think of Venetia's uh, sphere of influence. I think Gion actually ended up holding this. Uh, but I'm unsure. But we could go for the Crimean Peninsula. The only problem is then we'll have to deal with the Golden Horde as well. So we'll need lots of money to get lots of mercenaries to be able to deal with that. And that might be beyond us, but... Wait. Are they actually Orthodox kingdoms? No. Yeah, the, the rulers are Catholic. Although that one isn't. Oh, and you're independent. He also may be a target. Declare war. Oh, we could seize the city, but he's small enough for... That's a city we could probably seize early on and maybe even get as our trade port in the eastern side. So we'd yeah, work to that afterwards. But that's sort of my plan for Venice. If you um, want to have a look at my plans for any of the other empires, come, not empires, republics, there'll be three buttons down here to take you to the other ones. Or if you're watching on the playlist, just let the video finish and you know, it'll take you to the next one. Now, if you'd like to see me play as the Republic of Venice, click like. If you would prefer me not to play the Republic of Venice, click dislike. Remember, next videos, or just let the playlist continue. That's if you're on the playlist, though. If you, if you picked a Republic straight off the bat and didn't go to a playlist, then you know, there's no playlist for you to do this to. But anyway, ladies and gents, that's all we have time for. Remember to like or dislike, depending on whether you would like or dislike me to play as this Republic. See you in the next video.